Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we are going to install a tank bag. This is the SW Motec Pro Engage tank bag, new for 2020. And we're going to be installing it on my Kawasaki Z900RS. So the box comes as you see. We've got the tank bag in its bag right here. And with these tank bags, they are a uh, require an adapter. So SW Motec ships the uh, tank ring in a box like this. And the box contains all the uh, necessary hardware to mount the ring onto the motorcycle. So we'll have a look at what's in there. So we'll open it up. And as you can see, we have the tank ring right here. We'll take that out. And underneath, So there's the tank ring. We have instructions, which come in sheet form like this. Uh, looks like they're in German and English. So the instructions uh, detail the installation, and they're in German and in English. So also included is the tank ring, the plastic tank ring. And it's just friction fit in here. So there are two pieces to the ring. So this will mount the ring on the motorcycle. You can see here. And then it looks like this plastic piece will then be mounted on top and screwed down and that will act as the clamping mechanism for the back. Okay, so we have the mounting hardware. You can see it includes a bunch of bolts and it looks like it's some sort of stainless steel. And that's the mounting hardware for this installation. The tools required for this job are a wrench with a four millimeter hex key on it, a three millimeter hex, and the blue Loctite. This is the non-permanent Loctite, so that once it's locked in, it can easily be broken if you needed to remove this tank bag adapter from the motorcycle. For instance, should you sell it? So we begin, the instructions are uh, not very good, but from the diagram, it basically indicates that we are going to remove these four bolts and then attach the ring to these four bolts. So we'll start with that. This is using the four millimeter hex. Again, these are not very tight. They're, they're very, very uh, easy to take off. The torque is like, Two new moves. Those are the four factory bolts now loosened off, and we can take those out. I like to keep things organized, so they'll go in a baggie and get marked as to what they are, should I need to remove this ring. Those these are the four spacers in question. So these four spacers now get dropped into here, like so. Next, we take the ring Again, this is the ring I showed you earlier that fits on top of here, and you can see the four holes line up. And this will move to keep the ring slightly elevated off the uh, tank. So they've given you, according to the diagram, three different size bolts. And they range in size like so. So there's short, not so short, and finally up to the longest one. So depending on your tank installation, you get to choose those. We're gonna go with the shortest one, which looks like it will work for this Kawasaki. So we'll see, let's put it in. And I think that's going to be the correct bolt. So we'll need to get the Loctite. There's the bolt with a little bit of Loctite on it. Going in the hole. A little bit on this one. Again, you can see the little bit of blue on it, just enough to lock it into position. That goes down there. 
and we'll get these closer to snug, like so. This will help to get the ring closer to its final position. And that looks pretty good there, so we'll go ahead and tighten that down. We've got these two bolts snug down. Next, we're going to install these two bolts and it's calling for one of the slightly shorter or slightly longer. I think we'll probably use the slightly longer one. These are the four bolts that are available. Two shorter ones, two that are slightly longer. So depending on your installation, you'll have to pick whichever one works for you. We're gonna go with the slightly longer one. Again, the blue Loctite. Fit a little more stiffly, and again, they're talking about a two new meter torque, which is almost nothing, just snug them up more or less. You don't want a bit of torque, you don't want to distort your tank either. Loctite will hold them into position. So, the next stage of this is to install the ring using these four, uh, four millimeter actual bolts, is what they are. The directions do call for the blue Loctites. We're going to do that now. I'm just going to put a little bit on each one of these so that they will lock down. We'll just put a, just a drip. There we go. And a little bit on each one. So you can see there, it's put a little bit of Loctite on each one. We'll position this into position now as carefully as possible to try to keep the Locked in position. There we are. Now these are threaded on one end and they're four millimeter hex on the other. So the, when you put them in position, make sure you get the threaded end down. They should sit slightly high when they're in position. If they sit down flush, then you've got them the wrong way around. So again, in they go. And as you can see, they're a little bit high. So we'll screw these down. Directions call for two newton meters of torque. I unfortunately don't have a torque wrench that goes that low, but two newton meters is really, really just more or less snug. So not too much on the torque, folks. Just snug them up, okay? You don't want to distort anything. You just snug them up so that they're, you don't want them to come undone, but again, you don't want to over torque it either. So, there we are. So that's it installed. So the tank ring portion is now installed. As you can see here, here, we still have good access to the gas cap. And when gassing the motorcycle, you will be required to remove the tank bag in order to get to this. Most of you know that. So next, uh, we'll detail the bag. Here's the uh, bag. Again, it's the SW Motec Pro Engage, it's the new one for 2020. This is the seven to 10 liter size. So let's pull it out. Comes in this nice little uh, bag. 
and there's the tank back. So it's a fairly small tank back, as you can see. It uh, does have the capability to expand. It is an expandable bag. So we unzip this, and then the bag can expand accordingly, like so. And it can expand at the front as well, as you can see here. But today we're gonna leave it a little bit compressed. The bag should have the mounting plate in it. So let's have a look-see, and it does. There, inside, you're gonna find a mounting plate. Open that up and have a look. And it looks like this. So we've got some hardware and the actual mounting plate that mounts on the bottom of the bag. So it looks like that. Also inside, some instructions which we'll be using to mount the bag. And it looks like a rain cover. So, uh, well, we'll set it aside for now. So we're going to set the rain cover aside because we will need access to the bag to put it on the motorcycle. So let's have a quick look and see what it looks like. Barely put it in position, it's just sitting on top right now, but it looks like the bottom will touch. On my particular Kawasaki, I've had clear tape, which starts right here and moves all the way back. I'm not a big fan of those sort of gaudy tank protectors, so the tape, you can't see it really. And uh, looks like it's gonna have to be pretty close to all the way forward, I'm going to say. All right, folks, so we've got the directions here and we're going to keep going with this. So tank bag is upside down and it says, we'll take that off of there right now. It says the first thing we need to do is attach these ribbons the way side. This is how it attaches. So they're saying, looking at the directions, that this has to come up from below. You have to take this clamp off first in order to make this work. So it looks like this will, in fact, this red piece the key part is this end right here. You, you can see it's got this folded over piece. This evidently has to sit this way. So let's put it through. It goes through very easily this way and it will sit like that. So that's the way it's designed. You can see how it's clamped on there. So it's holding. So that's the way that's designed. So this, they say, let's turn it the way the directions are. The thing can turn this way. This should face forward. So this little clamp that you see here faces forward. Goes like this, and then down through here. So it's gonna fit like that. Make sure this is done correctly, and it is. So that's the way the directions say this should go. So that's that then. So the next thing we are going to place this on the bag this way. Now they show it upside down, but I know for sure it's going to go that way. So that's how it's going to go on. And it'll slide back and forth like that. Doesn't look like a, it does show using some Loctite on this. So we'll open it up, have a look, see. And we'll Loctite them into position. Nice that they uh, let you do this yourself. You can do it correctly. Lock that goes in there. There we go. Alright, so we'll snug these down. Now, based on my previous fitting, I'm thinking this is probably going to need to be as close to the 
this nut up a bit. And so we're going to do this in a fairly quick fashion so that we can position it and let the Loctite set up. So that should be loose enough now. Can be slid back and forth. Okay, so we're going to position the bag on the motorcycle. We'll zip the lid down. And this is where we finally position it just to make sure that it's in the correct position. And it looks like it just snaps on like that. That's it, it's on. So right now it's all the way forward. So as you can see here, this is pretty much the best position on this tank for this motorcycle. Tank bag is in the completely forward position. This is resting on the plastic, so if you do purchase this bag, you'll want something on your tank here. But I can move the handlebar fully to the left, fully to the right, does not touch the bag at all. So I'm going to really impinge on my phone, so I think that's the correct position for it. It moves it as far back as possible. So let's take it off and tighten it down. So for the Kawasaki Z900RS, completely all the way forward is the correct position. So it's all the way forward, and we can go ahead and tighten down these bolts. Next, it says to feed this into the main compartment. Pass through right here. So these ways to stick your finger through and then push this back through with your finger. There it is. So now we can set the length of this. So we'll bring it in, clip it in there like so. So you can see how it's clipped in now. And the amount that you want sticking out, you can control that by controlling this and by, you can pull it probably a little bit too much for me sticking out there. So I'm going to shorten it right up. I don't like a lot of stuff hanging out. I'm going to shorten it up right there for now. So once it's shortened up, that's pretty much it. I can get this done. There might be enough room to dupe it through again. That would lock it into position and stop this from happening. Looks like there probably is. It's a tight squeeze though. And it's going to go through. So, so the double loop will stop that now. So we can plug that in and now it's not going to pull at all. So that's good. So that's the tank back finished. And there it is. So let's uh, install it. So, for this motorcycle, all the way forward. The red pull cord, which pulls the tabs as you can see here. Placing it on the bike is easy, and it just clamps down. And that's it. So there it is, installed on the Kawasaki Z900RS, the SW Motec seven to 10 liter tank bag. Okay, so this shows the tank bag is actually not touching the tank. As I mentioned on my tank, I've had some clear tape installed, same stuff that goes on your car. And I don't like those uh, tank protectors here. Clear tape, even if this does weigh down and touch it, it's not gonna damage the tank. As you can see right now, it, it's it would it would probably touch with some weight in it, but I'm actually having to push down fairly with a fair bit of force to get it to touch. So um, you know, if the weight was in it, it, it may touch. But sitting empty right now, it's not touching. It does expand up. So once it's expanded, it inflates like so. Probably rises up about an inch and a half, I'd say. Doesn't impede the view of the instruments on the bike. And uh, it's actually a really nice size for this kind of bike. So this gives you the view that you're going to see when you're riding the motorcycle. The tank bag is right here. 
It's easily accessed. You can open it up if you need to. Get access to the bag like so. It's easy to remove it. Zip it up. So this is the SW Motec Pro Engage 7 to 10 liter tank pack. And it uses their new Pro Ring system.